Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley if you're tuning in for the first time and today we're gonna to be doing a super beautiful bob wig style and install. For this one I've teamed up with ID in Hair. Their acronym is I Define Natural and I love it. Definitely the definition of a super natural install. I love how I was able to do a no baby hair install and you guys know your girl don't do no baby hair because I love, 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 love just a good baby hair. Even if it's a little soap here in there, I love me a good baby hair. But for this one, I just felt like I would be doing this wig literally a disservice by adding any kind of baby hair in the front of the hairline. They absolutely did an amazing job with this one. They have scalp knots in the front, which I'll tell you about the technology a little bit later. The knots are super thin and very seamless, which is absolutely my jam because who wants to be in front of somebody having a conversation and they're just staring at them knots and they stare at them grids. This one, you don't have that problem at all. And of course, the bob itself has so much movement and body, literally stiff wear. And yes, I did take off my lip gloss purposely to make sure that my bob didn't stick to my lips. But I'm going to go ahead and do the install with you. And then I'll talk to you all about this wig and what makes it so special and all the tea and all that. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this one installed glueless with absolutely minimal product and to look so good that I'm able to not have to wear baby hair or camouflage it or do any smoke and mirror tricks, keep on watching. Jumping right into it, this is the gorgeous Jim straight out of the box. She is flawless. I love the dark root. I love the color. Everything about this one is going to be so amazing and especially so easy to work with. Here's a look at the inside construction of the cap. They did lace your girl with an adjustable elastic band for a little bit more comfort and security. We're not going to waste any time. Let's go ahead and put her on right away. Here I'm showing you the lace a little bit more in detail. This one is 12 inches in length, 180% density. The texture is silky straight. There are highlights in it that I love so much paired with the dark root. This one also has a lace type called Real HD Lace. I love this lace because it melts into the skin flawlessly. My size cap is medium and I also love the fact that they also bleached the knots and it's just a nice clean hairline and we really are good to go. So to make sure this one looks amazing, I'm going to go ahead and buff a generous amount of my foundation powder into my wig cap. I want it to look very, very good, but I don't want to do the bald cap method just because I personally feel like it lifts and it slides back under that wig and it's just a lot of work and a lot of mess. I like to keep it nice, cool and clean and, you know, just make the wig cap match my complexion best as possible. Push it back behind the hairline a little bit and typically that works best for me. Here I'm cutting off the excess lace. We did not need to go in and customize anything. Today I'm going to be using this glueless adhesive from I Am Ming Lee. I love her and I love her work and I love her work ethic so I did support and buy this off of her website. I'll have it linked in the description box. It's just like got to be glue but you know it's a little bit different and it smells really really good. I like the way it bonds my wig down and it of course is glueless so at the end of the night if you want to take off your wig you can just use a little bit of H2O and it'll come right off but the bond on this one is amazing as well. Also, I do want to mention there are a couple coupon codes in the description box. Be sure to use mine. It's Ashley20 and you'll get 20% off at checkout. I really want you to see this magic. Look how beautiful, beautiful this hairline looks with literally no effort. I didn't have to plug tweeze. I didn't customize anything at all. I just bonded it down and it looks amazing. So here is a look at the back. As you guys know, this one is about 12 inches in length and I love the body and texture in it. The highlights work perfect with my complexion and they look very, very tasteful. They look rich, expensive, and all of the above. I'm going to use my Dynamic Duo. This is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. Both items can be found on my site, bedeckbeauty.com. I'll have them linked in the description box. And as you guys can see, this kind of melts the lace. It kind of makes everything look nice, bone straight, silk press growing out of the scalp. It makes everything literally just look smooth, flawless, and it really does bring the look together this step here. 
So here I'm pulling out a little bit of sideburns. I think that is very, very helpful in just making the wig look a lot like more like sassy and cute. But you guys also know I love a low maintenance wig. And for me, low maintenance wigs don't include sideburns for day to day use. But, you know, I still love them the same. So here I'm just going in and bumping the ends. This one came nice, um, you know, in the package, but of course it does get a little bit, you know, crimped from being in a box on its way here. So I'm just using a flat iron. I love the Bebulous on the highest setting. I'm chasing it with a rat tail comb just to give it a nice, smooth, straight texture and just bumping the ends for that nice, real good, sleek bob that I love so much. Also, I wanted to mention to you guys that ID in Hair um, is an acronym and it stands for I Define Natural. I love their brand mission. Their goal is to give natural products that are practical and beginner friendly. You guys know that last step for me, I'm going to go ahead and take my mineralized skin finish powder along the hairline and just buff it in with a beauty blender to blend my skin with the lace. Okay, love bugs. So we are completo. We are finished with this look and I think we got a winner so as you can see for starters it's a bob so you gotta start with like a little bob shake and say stiff wear sis stiff wear the color phenomenal i used to like when i before i even started doing hair tutorials like the idea of doing like highlight it was either like I'm gonna go whatever color I'm going like if I'm going blonde send me blonde with the dark root but highlights always to me were scary because it just gave like Von Dutch trucker hat days with the like really chunky streaky highlights that were not meant for black girls and I have grown to love them and I feel like IDN did an amazing job at making it look so good so professional and of course setting it off with a dark root I love the way it's like um I don't know gradient is the word maybe where it's gradient in here so it doesn't just look like this is the dark root and then this is where the hair um turns to a different color and then this is a chunk and then this is a chunk it's beautifully blended you can tell that whatever process they do to get the hair this color they take their time it's quality and it's not just a quick you know money grab if you will also with this one the lace is absolutely gorgeous um, they did give me some information. So you have normal knots, which is usually three to four strands every lace hole, which means that's why when you look at normal lace, that knot looks so thick. It's because they take three or four um, pieces of hair and they knot it together so it's thick. Um, invisible knots usually is two to three strands for every knot hole. So it looks a lot more thin and subtle, but still you can see it. With this one, this one is called scalp knots and it's one to two strands and with every um, knot it's only one strand or two strands so it makes it a lot more seamless because you guys know even when you bleach your knots you can still see that thick knot because um, with normal like old school lace just because it's so thick and even when it comes to customizing your wig when you pluck and tweeze it's hard to take your tweezer and like grab it out because it just feels so thick and the reason is is because I said like I said before it is three to four strings of hair which makes sense for a company with mass production as far as like trying to get the knots and the lace and all that attached and all that as fast as possible. This takes a little bit more time, a little bit more quality control, and of course, you get a much better result. I feel like the lace with this one is superb. Chef's kiss, 10 out of 10, so I for sure just didn't feel like I needed to um, add any baby hair, which you guys know is rare for me. It, I don't care how nice the lace is, 9 times out of 10, I'm going to find a want or a need to add baby hair. And with this one, the lace is so thin, it's so seamless. Of course, they bleach the knots for you. And then I set it off with just a little bit of powder before I use the micro smooth powder. But I'm going back right here with a darker powder just because... Um, 
sometimes at different angles you catch the light and you can see like that tip of that lace and how it will be a different color also i did use um this from i'm i am mingly i'll have it linked in the description box if it's still um available but this is her adhesive and you guys know she has amazing hair before i was done doing hair tutorials that was who i got my hair from and that is who like i recommended everybody go to back in the day before like hair tutorials were a thing as you guys can see the hair is really nice it has super like a lot 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 of movement it is sure to check out idn of course direct link to this wig is in the description box thank you guys oh i always forget something so before we go i wanted to show you the packaging i think i already showed you the box and it does say idn and like a silver uh would you consider that metallic writing and it says i define natural which is the acronym for i in um there's a thank you card inside there are two um dolphin clips there is a pack of wig caps and then this is the adjustable band that was inside of the wig i personally if i'm gonna bomb the wig down take it out because i just feel like it's more comfortable in my nape if i'm gonna keep the wig on for days and days and days but if i want to make sure that it's extra secure especially when i'm traveling or i'm out all day or um i'm not gonna be bonding it down like when i go take the kids to school in the morning i like to have this in there because it does make the wig feel a lot more snug but it's just a matter of preference and then they did include a rat tail card home which is always the central thing also notice that their tissue paper does have a sticker and their logo all over it so love that for them love that for me thank you guys so much for watching be sure to check the description box for a direct link to this week length and all the details are attached as well and of course everything we use to complete this look so thank you guys thank you guys i love you guys so much happy october happy holiday season because you guys know the holiday season is gonna go super super fast love you guys and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video smooches